Hi, welcome to the video. Uh, I'm going to try and put together a little video as I make up this guitar kit. It's a bass guitar. I've only done one bass guitar before for the wee man. But recently I've just started getting back into doing them. I may have posted a video showing some of the ones I've done up until now. But I thought I'd try and document this one. I bought it last year or something like that. I've had a load of these sitting around waiting to be done. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to video every step of the way, but I'll try and show some of the things I'm doing and hopefully you like it. If you do, please remember to drop a wee like and subscribe if you want. But I'll try and tell you some of the things that I'm going to have to do to initially get this kit started. This is how it came. We've got the body, the sandwich construction. It feels like a mulligan. It's quite a heavy uh, wood and it's got an insert or apply, you should call it really, inside bottom or neck, drilled out for the cavity, but there's a few things I'm going to have to fix in it, that's the neck, it's got a kind of bamboo style insert, and again there's a couple of things on there I'm going to have to do, and then we'll get the bits that come with the guitar, so one of the things that's not been done is it's not been drilled for the pickup wires, so I'm going to have to run this big long drill, I'll drill down through there, straight through there, straight through there and maybe actually what we'll do is I'll carry that through so as I can get my bridge up in um, and I'll be able to drill down and get there. I've marked up where my bridge needs to go um, there's loads of videos out there for doing that but it's basically you need to know the scale length of your guitar you do that by measuring to the 12th fret and doubling it up to the nut so this is a 17 inch scale so it's 34 inches to where the saddles roughly need to be um, roughly halfway in the saddles and then I've marked up where the screws will go I found my centre line on the guitar and then did where my screws need to be there they've not done a very good job of the chamfer here and it's can you just hold it there, there's a bit of glue missing so I'm going to plane off a bit more of this I don't know if you'll be able to see really the camera but it's no chamfered straight I put a straight line on there but the chamfer's here and it's curved and that's causing some problems with this so I'm going to plane that down and then I'll sand it down the whole body needs sanded um, but I'm going to have to do that the neck's already been shimmed actually it's quite a good fit for a kit guitar the rest of the body's not too bad there's cracks in the wood there that will maybe show through my plan is staining oil this I'm not going to bother putting a proper finish. The other issue I've noticed, and it's why it's always worth test fitting, it comes with one of these barrel jacks, rather than your other type of jack socket. But where they've drilled it, the wood is too thick, so I'm going to have to take some of this wood out here, because you're going to have to get in to get that nut on. So that's why it's always worth checking the kit and everything before you get started. Another job I'm going to have to do is, for some reason, I don't know why, but they've not they've slotted the nut, but they've not chiselled it out. So I'm going to have to chisel that out. The rest of it's fine, actually. It's not like a piece of maple, as you see down. I see it fits really, really well. Um, somebody's obviously done it. And actually, the fret ends of this kit, I think it's, it's one of these chair stones, a cherry stone kit, so I'm not sure. It wasn't branded, but I've actually done a bit of research and that's what it is. It came from Germany. Um, it was about £110 or something like that. No mega expensive. But you get your obligatory crappy strings that are in the bin, but I'll keep them actually just for test purposes. Your back plate, which is too tight. That's the bridge. This is chrome hardware. Got a pair of kind of... I don't know my base pickups. I don't know bases. I mean, I play bases. I don't know. It's kind of enclosed kind of humbuckery style bridges. Look at that. You get your tuning pegs in there, your pots that look like rubbish UV standard pots, I'll see if I get better ones. Some capacitors for your tone control. Your capacitors for your tone control. That's your capacitor there. Let's see the wee mini pots. Although that's probably going to be the size it fits in there. If I want to put in bigger pots, I'll need to open that out. I don't know whether I want to go to that. That's where this kit and all your other bits and pieces in there. Okay, so the first job I'm going to do is I'm going to get this all prepped for staining. 
So a good rub down all over, make sure any defects, there's a wee defect here as well where obviously they've tight fitted this neck and they've, they've chipped the wood, tried to pull it back out again. So I'm going to have to sand that down and check where the glue is. Do this bit, get it all drilled out for the pickup wires. Next time we come back, I should have it all done. Probably sand it to 320, ready to be stained. And then a couple of sand downs to 800. And then we'll oil it up and wire will it. Alright, so that's us. So our sand has been done. It's all been done to 320 grits. Come up quite nice. Hole's been drilled. Oh, try to follow this here. Hole's been drilled for the bridge. Earth. So that goes down into there. Then you can see the holes drilled through. Just took a big long drill bit from the net pocket. From the pickup wires. And then there's one there to go through to the control cavity. So let's see, it's all sanded down. Taking the chamfer and straightened it out. Well, this bit is still causing my problem, but I'm going to get a quick go to coat of dye on the guitar. We'll see how this comes up. Also made adjustments to here so that this socket will fit. I might need to actually take just a little bit more off. Next, all done. That slot's been cut out. It's all sanded down ready. So. We'll get on with the dye and see where we get to. So, dye's been applied, a couple of coats. And as you can see, something I didn't notice when I was sanding down the guitar. You may notice the patchiness. That means it's a sealer coat, which I wasn't aware of. So that's why the, it looks a bit patchy. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and have a sand down. See if we can get some of that out. I don't mind the, the blonde grain showing through. In the tips. I might leave that or I might try some green filler, but certainly I need to rub this down and rub down on the edges. So I'm doing a special 320. In case you're wondering what I'm using, I use Kida Dye. Get it from the States. Comes with little packets in there with five in. I think there is different colours that allow you to mix up the wee spoons I just use myself. Just with plastic spoons, but if you're using this stuff, make sure you protect where you're using it. Wear gloves, it's absolutely strong. I just put it in a wee tub and apply it on. It stays liquid, just mix it with a wee bit of water. A quarter of a spoonful is enough to do probably a tub like that. It's that point one litre it says, so I wouldn't fill it. It's probably two thirds with black gloves any kind of gloves to protect yourself and just wipe it on with a rag. I think you can use it with cellulose if you want it to dry quicker and you don't want it lifting up any grain. You can use it with cellulose thinner or in the States you call it naphtha or whatever it is, or denatured alcohol or something like that. We have meths here which has got a colour in it so um, I should have used that. But let's try sanding this down and then we'll get a new coat of stain on it. Alright, it's been sanded down again and a little change of colour. Decided to go a kind of ready brown on top of the blue once I sanded it down. I wasn't too keen. So it's been restained. The shoes in the same stains. These are just my supports while I do it. Headstock's ready. I've got my logo on it. Neck, I've just applied a really light stain just to darken down the grain a wee bit. So next job, I'm going to, as I originally intended, oil it with some tar oil. About half a dozen coats of this. It says four, but I'll put half a dozen on it. Maybe you it's quite good. It doesn't really smell that much or anything. Just put it on my wee rag. Let it dry for about four hours. Have a light rub down with four zero wire wool. And then we're good to go. So, like I say, these are just supports, basically. It allows me to handle the guitar, and then once one side's dry, I like like that. And it's off. Plastic. Right, so we'll go. Next time we'll have the coatings on. 